Hello, nurse. Oh yeah, I know I look good. Time to play doctor and get our medic badge. Okay, what are we looking at for the medic badge? We have a few things we need to craft and use different types of stim packs. Apart from tracking down stim pack diffusers, this one's gonna be a breeze. Today I'll show you where to get the recipes and go over a great place to find aid items to assist us, so a few perk cards will be required. We need pharmacist level 3 to craft antibiotics, so this is a must, and we're gonna need chemist at level 1 also for crafting antibiotics. I suggest using chemist anytime you're making aid items anyways for that double yield, and the ingredient list I have is based on this being a required perk. I'll be using green thumb and butcher's bounty, I highly suggest you do the same when finding ingredients. Pharma Pharma is a must during our supply run, as well as one level of pick lock. Before we run and do all of that, I'm going to get the exam out of the way. This is going to be so much easier than going to medical school. Link to the exam answers are in the description. Okay, let's go over the things we need to craft. We have to make antibiotics, disease cures, and healing salves three times. Extras from Super Duper and Chemist don't apply. But we need to find the recipes for these first. Knowing how to craft disease cures are something you know automatically, so you should have the ability to craft the forest variety right from level 1. At least they taught you something in that vault. Forest healing salve is learned pretty early on if you did the first couple steps of the starter quest. It's given to you when you finish first contact. Antibiotics on the other hand are a bit trickier to track down. The recipe is available in the medical bay of the enclave, which is where I got mine. You can also get it as a reward on a few of the quests in the Ash Heap, like BattleBot. This time I got the recipe for stim packs, and the chances of getting a recipe are really low. I only got two recipes after doing it 25 times. At least at the Enclave, it's a sure thing. Now to craft them, let's see what ingredients we need. Disease cures in the forest take two bloodly, two fire caps, two snaptail reed, and one boiled water each. Healing salves take one blood leaf, one soot flower, one boiled water each. And antibiotics take a whopping three antiseptic, two blood pack, two disease cures, two purified waters, and three stim packs each. Yikes. We actually don't need to craft six disease cures or blood packs for our antibiotics if we play our cards right. This is where our green thumb and chemist perk cards come into play, because if we just make the three required disease cures, we'll have enough for the antibiotics. You should already have nine stim packs in your inventory, but if you don't, I'm going over a run later in the video that will help you restock. And if you don't know how to make boiled water, well, that's a life skill that I just can't teach you. Maybe you should ask your mom for help. We need to make three of each, so we'll have to gather nine blood leaf, six fire cap, six snap tail, six boiled water, three soot flower, nine antiseptic, six blood packs, six disease cures, which will make six purified water, and nine stim packs. I'd much rather not have to jump all over the map to find all this, because things go bad quickly lately, so I found a nice spot that has all the plants we need, so long as we have the green thumb perk card equipped. When you spawn in outside Charleston Herald, you will be able to find our Bloodleaf, Firecap, Snaptail, and Sootflower all in one location. There are a few Firecaps right over here headed west toward Charleston Station, next to these homes. There's one, next home over, two and three Firecaps, which gave us six. Heading northwest towards the station, there's two Sootflower plants here, which gave us four. Now south and into the town area, all around the water here, there'll be patches of blood leaf. We'll need to pick five. Next to these bridges, here's one and two. There are a couple plants on the other side of this building next to this bus, but not today. Wow, that was delayed. I did that quest like 15 minutes prior. Anyways, heading north through the building, we'll find our first two snaptail reeds. We need three. Oh, there's the third one right next to the broken wall. All we need is a bit more blood leaf. There's more traveling east where there's a bit more water. Another snap tail if we need it. Right by this car is one blood leaf. Over here on the water's edge and across this little bridge here. That'll be our fifth plant, which is all we need with our green thumb perk card. There is more blood leaf and snap tail around this area if you still need more. 
Next on the list, we need some antiseptic and blood packs, which means we're hunting down ticks. A good source of both. Butcher's Bounty is super helpful for this because we need six tick blood, and we need six tick blood sacks to get all the antiseptic required too. There are four ticks at Moonshiner Shack. Be sure to search them so you don't come up empty handed. Four more ticks can be found just south of there at Gilman Lumber Mill. And a whole heap, seven to eight, over at the Shack in the Mire, west of treetops. I like to hit this spot up anytime I need to make stim packs. And with Butcher's Bounty, you're bound to have plenty of what you need. Now you should have all of the ingredients needed to make our healing supplies. Just a friendly reminder to be sure to have your chemist perk card equipped so that we can make the most of our crafting. If you have Super Duper, you might as well slap that on too. With those active, we'll make enough blood packs and disease cures needed to craft our antibiotics. So wait, crafting is done and out of the way. Now we need to use three of each type of stim pack. These are found all over and are even craftable with the right recipe. You can make diluted stim packs right out of the vault as well. Super stims and diffused ones are going to be a bit trickier ones to track down. The recipe for diffused stim packs are found during the event Project Paradise. I've personally been a part of the event maybe 30 times and haven't gotten the plans yet. It's a pretty rare drop. So our best option is to reach out to our fellow players for some help in that department and see if anyone can make us three or go shopping. I chose shopping. When looking at vendor caps on the map, stim pack diffusers are not under the category stim pack like you would expect. It's actually categorized as meds. I found a shop close by that was selling a few. It was a little pricey, but I've seen the price fluctuate anywhere from 25 to 250 caps each. The price will go down once more people learn the plans and the demand is lower. I bought these ones in the first week of July and just today I saw some for 30 caps each. Stimpact diffusers are more of a unique item. They're great for team play as they heal you and nearby teammates, which means as a soloer, I'm probably never going to be an active diffuser user except for knocking out this badge. Tried them out at a public event to see if it healed anybody nearby that I wasn't teamed up with, but I'm not sure if it did. It does look interesting though. And that leaves us with making sure that we use three of each of the other Stimpacks, which usually gets knocked out just by playing the game. Super stim packs are often rewards for events that have big baddies at the end, like Project Paradise, Scorched Earth, AWOL Arraignment, and Free Range, and you can find the recipe as a drop from certain events too. You can also check medical supply vending machines or vendor bots. They will sometimes have them in stock, but I'm a gal who likes to save caps when I know I can find stuff for free, so I'm going to show you one of my med and chem farming routes with 15 searchable containers. Pharma Pharma is needed, and also one level of picklock. I love hitting up Morgantown Airport for this the most because it's low level and can be run through pretty quick. I can get it done in under two minutes. Our first box is right in the middle of this tent area. It's on a buried jeep bed. Second spot is in the radio tower. It's right from the door. Already our first Stimpak Super. Nothing procced from our search though. Heading back out towards the airfield, you'll see some trendy shipping cart tiny homes. We want the bluish one. This is locked with a level one lock, but there is a box in here we want. Two stim packs and a super, doing great so far. Next up are these two green tents. First one has a doctor's bag. What goodies you hiding, doc? Good chems, not what we're after though. And nothing procced the next tent over. Turn immediately south and into the medical hangar. From the entrance in to the right, we have our first one. A diluted stim pack and blood pack if we need. We'll head upstairs. There is a box at the back of the loft on the cabinet here. No stims. Back downstairs and down the hall on the right, there are three containers here. A stim pack usually spawns on the shelf here too. There's a box on the table here in the corner. And don't forget about this mirror as well. Nothing for me this time, but worth the search. Across the hall, there is an aid box on the left wall. 
head right out the door into the landing area, you're going to see this laboratory hangar. Inside right from the door is one on the wall. And over in this operating area, there's a box that has a level 1 lock. Usually locked boxes give out much more or better aid, and you can still search it. Ooh, a bobblehead spawn. Might as well pick it up. All right, back out towards the landing area. There's two more containers in the quarantine hangar. There's one to the right of the door. Nothing extra from Pharma Pharma. Oops, I was wrong. And the last one has some good stuff, including the third super stim we need. Now all we gotta do is get roughed up a bit and use our stims. I'm gonna hit up Robco and see if AWOL is going on. That event usually hits me pretty hard. Wow. Okay, three Scorch Beasts. Yeah, that'll do it. What do you call a group of Scorch Beasts anyways? A gaggle? A flock? Wait, they're bats, so it'll be a colony or a cloud. Looks like they're after this legendary Gutsy. Maybe they're here farming legendaries. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need those super stims here. Just like any action hero here, we gotta walk away from the explosions. That's one overly extra way to finish off this badge. And that's it for the medic badge. And we didn't even have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for schooling to be able to practice medicine. I guess that's one good thing about the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Sure, the world is in ruins, but at least there's no student debt. Yay! Too real? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, want more batch guides, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. As always, I'm Wickedy, it's been fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!